Hello guys and welcome back to another build video and today I was going to be well hoping to build in the mountains but something drew me back to our first build and it was this this little boat that's just above the water I thought it would make a beautiful lake house and it reminded me of this build that we did here unfortunately with it being my first build it's not very good and so I thought let's approach this again and i really want to tie this boat into the build as well so we're going to have to somehow do a little dock that reaches out to that okay i'll be honest it was very difficult to build the well the build out to this area because it's so deep so i decided to wait until winter and we'll build from there also means that we can see straight away how in line that is. I think we're just in the right position for this. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this positioning. We've got the boat just next to the little dock, and then we've got quite a large section to the left, which is going to be the little um, house on the lake, I guess you could say. And then we'll probably have a little boat house just to the right of it as well. We've made a bit of progress here. So you can see we've got the little dock down. We've also laid out the area for the boat house just to the right here. We've got a, a little inlet for any boats that we want to, to put in there. And then here we're going to have the main lake house. And what I'm going to do with this is just lift it up a layer so it looks like it's separated from the, the the port itself so it's it has a higher priority but we're, we're going to play a little bit with the depth here and different levels to to try and make this build stand out more so as you can see we have progressed a little here we've done the bridge i'm pretty happy with this i might add some more supports just in the center of these struts here um but it's a lot more logs, which I don't fancy doing. And then we have all of that running across onto this area. I'm not happy about this section, but there's not much we can do about that uh, at the moment. I think we might need to extend it up before we can push it out because it's registering as being in these, these rocks. Uh, the same with this side as well. So we've got an interesting shape to play around with, to say the least. And then we have um, various ramps and staircases to get down onto the pontoon, the the dock here. And then across here we have our little boathouse which we'll be able to enter. I haven't done these floorboards yet, this is a lot of wood. Um, but we'll probably do a way of getting across to this section as well. And uh, this can be where they park their boats. When it comes to doing the walls, I tend to start off on the corners first. Um, so I've done these two and then I started filling them in. Um, we need to do this section, as you can see, as a wall. This will be kept empty and part of this, which actually means I need to chop that one in half. Good job I remembered that. And then we'll have another wall section here and another here. And we're going to do this all the way around and then we'll probably lift this up another floor high so we're going to have to do the connecting beams first and then add the height to that and then from there we'll start working on the struts so i've spent a couple of hours trying to get the walls sorted and the supports ready for the roofing and you can see we're almost there we haven't even started the the boathouse but you can see that we have got a from the pier we can go up here and then we have our our ground floor and then we can go up onto the next floor uh, where we have a space followed by a balcony i think this is going to really make it stand out you can see how we've used the supports just in the corners um, to really open up the space and we'll have quite a big doorway here leading down to the dock so i've just discovered a new thing with roofs, which is incredible, but the problem is that it only works on one side. So I'm sure this is a bug that they're still working on. Um, but you see this, we now have a, I don't know, like a, a half ramp roof and it looks friggin' amazing straight on. The only problem is we can't do it with the other side. So I've had to stick with a single ramp, which I'm working on now. And I thought I'd try it on this side 
and it doesn't work on the left side um, cut at all. It only works on the right hand side, which worked perfectly. So you can only do it from one side, but all you need to do is have this as an upside down V, like this shape that we currently got, um, repeating this on both sides and then cutting out half of it. Okay, so I've been really struggling with the roof design. I've managed to get it how I wanted it and connect these two together. Um, and then I plan on doing an apex at the top. However, this side, I cannot get to connect up and it's driving me insane. I think the issue is that because we've done this on the outer side, that that's what's causing us to be unable to connect these together. It just, it will not go. So I think I'm gonna have to tear down that and redo it, which is a shame because I like the look of it, but needs a must, I guess. As you can see, we have finally done the roof. It took a lot of time. Uh, I still need to add a piece through here, but I need to do it from beneath. And the, uh, the last thing that we're doing, I'm going to put another apex piece here. But taking a step back from all of this, you can see how we've kind of brought the roof together. And I think it works really well. We have the balcony in front. We're going to wall all this up and then we have quite a nice chunky bridge next to it. So it doesn't feel like it's dwarfing anything. If you are looking for tips on how to do the roof peaks like we've done there, um, make sure to check out my guide on roofing and advanced roofing in Sons of the Forest. We've covered uh, loads of really interesting things. Um, I'm still discovering things as you've, you've seen earlier, but there's so much to play about with, but they do need to refine the system a lot more. And I, I'm hoping we can get that in the next few updates. We have just received the update and we've had some really cool additions with it, some of which will apply to this build. Um, specifically, the front sections of the, the roof can now be filled in, which is fantastic. And then we may add a gate right at the front just for the hell of it, because we can. Uh, really happy with what we've got so far. So uh, I'm going to continue on building. We're going to start by filling this. Uh, oh no, I said I was going to do this. Oh, we've got some nice weather at last. I've been working on playing around with adding a little bit of the uh, the gate here. And I've noticed that providing we build from the center section, we can place these uh, alongside. It's not going to be perfect, unfortunately, but we are going to be able to, by the looks of it, make it look like there's a bit of a, a gate in front of this. And I'm really happy with how this has turned out. It's not perfect, um, but we, we've had to do it on a slant, but you can see it actually is all in line. So we have a little opening for the boats now. Uh, not that we'd really have one, yeah, as we can't build a boat yet. This is definitely coming along. All I need to do now is cover up the roof on the um, the, the boathouse and then we'll fill that in, add a little bit of detail I think, and from there we'll get started on the main build. Definitely the hardest thing about this was sorting it out so that we had the V going upwards in the center. Uh, the only way that you can then place the wall, like the supports on the outside, is to place down these little wooden planks. Let me grab that. I can't grab it. That one, oh, so annoying. <laughs> Why? It's like parkour. Um, so you place this down and from here, this cre creates a ramp. And so providing you have a piece into this, you can place another beam on top of it. And so that's how I've managed to do it all along here, which will allow us to do a roof on top whilst keeping it looking like it's as well supported underneath. There's so much to do. Building in this game takes so long. And I think part of it's down to the friggin' uh, every single log that you have, whenever you make a, a single cut, it just takes forever. Like doing this whole, I can't even do it. Place it down. Just cutting these, it's like an extra second out of the build. Um, I'm not disliking it, it's just, it's very time consuming. I'd love to be able to have it on and then at times just switch it off if I'm doing like a big build because it is like, uh, I get that it's, um, what's the word, like immersion 
breaking, like placing down everything all at once. But it just takes so much time out of my day. The, these builds have taken me each easily, like the waterfall one, the lake house, this one at least 10 hours each, and I've not even finished this one. Oh, oh well, rant over, I guess. I am enjoying it, I swear. Ah, the, the cliffside is dazzling me. <laughs> they should probably fix that. <laughs> We're making progress, but I came up with a, a little problem. We, we currently have our little dock in here. Unfortunately, we can't deal with the, the terrain. There's not much I can do about that, which is a shame. I want to close it off, but we can't. So we might be able to do it on the outside here and bring it through. And the idea is that we have a walkway from here down into this section. Here's a new problem for us, which I hadn't realized until now. Uh, we can now place these down and then we can fill them up, but we can't place, I grab another log. We cannot place this on top without it chopping off. And so now I'm stuck in a position where I can't fill this gap. <laughs> and here we are, the boathouse is done. I'm pretty happy with it, but there are a few issues. Uh, the main issue is that I couldn't do much work on the back end. And so I couldn't add supports down here. I couldn't close this in and I can add, I can add staircases here. Remember guys, always use down, uh, staircases first. And also because Virginia's here for some reason, I can't do the wall here just won't let me place it. And I couldn't place the the ceiling back in after I removed it. So those are the two major problems, but I'm, I'm pretty happy with this, all things considered. Um, yeah, nice place to store our boat when it's not in use. <laughs> well, the next thing that I need to do is this. We're gonna fill this in now, which is gonna take me quite a bit of time. The build is coming along, but I have to say this, I've just seen Virginia running into the wall there. Um, the thing that really stands out at the moment with these builds is that because we only have wood to work with, they look quite samey, which is a bit of a shame. I'm hoping that they'll bring some different materials. A lot of people have been mentioning stone. I'm sure stone is on the way, but I would love to be able to do like the planking that we've got for the roofs as well as a wall, or I don't know, something else covering it with mud, I don't know. It would just be nice to break up the, well, the monotony of just using wood, wooden planks. Wooden planks, wooden trunks. But it is coming along. We're going to cover all of this now and do the rest of it. And then hopefully we'll find a way to make it stand out more. Maybe that's from cutting the windows out or perhaps using things like torches to make it stand out more. We'll see, we're getting there. Okay, so new problem, I'm filling this in and this side was perfect. No issues whatsoever. However, on this side, I don't know why, I just, I can't get this system to fill the gap in. I presume it's just a bug, but I can't, either I have to leave both sections like this, or I have to have one filled and the other one not, because you can't choose which one you want. Um, so I think we're probably gonna just remove them, which is a shame because I really like that we can now fill them. It must be almost spring. The last thing that I want to do now that we've built this, obviously get rid of the excess logs, is to cut out some of the windows and then I want to do some decorating inside. I've also got a little bit of a cover over the, the bridge as well. I thought that might be quite nice. It's a shame we haven't got more materials, but I'm quite happy with what we've done. And here we are with the finished product. I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. I have to say I'm really happy with how the boat looks just by the dock uh, with it sitting in the water there, even if it is partly sunk, but let's just pretend it needs a little bit of a repair. The boathouse is, I, I mean, I'm happy with it at the side, but there, were, there was so much more that I wanted to do with it and it just wasn't possible with the build mechanics at the moment in game. And then we have this uh, build, which we'll go into in a little bit because I've done a little bit of decoration um, for it and I'm quite happy with that. I just want more stuff. And of course the little bridge as well. Let's have a look inside. By the way, I am thinking about adding this save onto Patreon. If I can find the save location, 
um, we put all of our satisfactory saves on there. And I'm thinking about doing the same for Sons of the Forest for the creative build. So this save includes the waterfall um, temple, which you saw us build the other day, and also the lake house build, which you can see here. Obviously, I wasn't happy with the lake house inner section, but we've been able to improve on our skills since then with us having worked out how to use these supports. And you can see we've done a window system here, um, along with a little kitchen area. If we want to light it, we can. Just use your imagination. It's not a drying rack, it's a, a little cooking spit. <laughs> and then we also have a little dining table area. I was thinking of adding like a, a school throne on the end. That could be quite cool. And in here, just a little private bedroom. Just got the bed in there. We head upstairs, we have the viewing area from the windows to ward off evil spirits and cannibals. And then we also have a little balcony area, which I'm quite happy with overall. Heading outside, we can go straight onto the dock to where the boat is. And we also have the little boathouse we run around there, you've already seen it. We've got a little rope bridge connecting this together, hence why it works despite being off-grid. And here you can moor your, your boats before heading out, should you wish. But guys, we are going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like the video, please do hit the thumbs up. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you're wondering what to watch next, I highly recommend checking out my Let's Play series on Sons of the Forest. You get to see me a little bit afraid, but we are going to be doing some interesting builds in the survival mode uh, later in that series. So check it while you can. Or, or you could check out our waterfall temple build. Special thanks does go to all of our amazing supporters over on Patreon, most notably our Solo Clips Patrons, James Irwin, Fireless, and Trebor, as well as our Lunars, The Calamity, Ben, Star, Shoku, The Emin Wolf, and That Dude A.W., as well as our Blood Moon of the Day, which today is Papa Snoozy. Until next time, as always, ciao for now.